I mean, you look at that hand, that's an 11 count. But uh, if you wouldn't splinter on that, you wouldn't splinter on anything. Like I said, the, don't get too hung up on the, on the actual point count. If you've got the distribution like you have on that hand I've just shown, um, you don't need the point count. But if you've got, you know, like a 4, 4, 5, nothing hand, um, you know, now you probably would want to be significantly stronger than a sort of 12 or 13 count. So 14 points, 16 points, that really depends on your agreement with your partner. It also depends on what system you're playing. If you're playing precision where opener is limited to 15 high card points, the likelihood is that you will normally want to have at least 15 yourself before you start making a splinter. Um, unless you've got a kind of distributional hand like you've got there. But uh, if, um, if you're playing 2 over 1 or standard American where opener can be as high as a 20 count, you could potentially splinter on, on less than that. You need to have a hand that's at least game forcing because you are forcing the bidding to game. That's the requirement. Okay, Sanya. Like I said, the actual point count that you put as a minimum is really down to you and your partner. I say 16 plus in principle. Um, in practice, I'll happily do it on a 14 plus playing precision. Um, if it's a good hand. If I've got a hand that's game forcing in openers major and where we might have a slam if openers maximum and I've got, you know, that kind of a thing, that kind of a hand, then yes, I would in principle splinter. But don't forget, playing OCP, we hardly ever splinter because the forcing no trump gamma sequences are much more efficient than splinters. Okay, any other questions before we move on? Okay. I'll say right at the outset that, yes, of course, you can play trial bids over a minor suit opening, but they tend to be aiming at playing in three no trumps rather than playing in five of the minor. So um, trial bids over a minor suit agreement tend to be significantly different. Plus, of course, if you're playing standard two over one um, or even standard American, if you're playing inverted minor suit raises um, sequences like one diamond two diamonds are not the sort of uh, time where you would necessarily want to make a trial bid because the two diamond bid uh, is unconditionally forcing so tonight we're only going to be concentrating on trial bids over major suit agreements at the two level Okay, so the idea of a trial bid basically is that if your partner is minimum, they're expected to just sign off at the three level. If they're maximum, they're expected normally to bid game. It's when they're in that sort of nebulous middle ground um, that uh, the trial bid comes into its own because now if it's a long suit trial bid, uh, they're expected to take their holding in the trial bid suit into account because you want some sort of a help there. 
similarly if you're playing short suit trial bids um, again ideally they want a holding like sort of three small or four small or maybe ace to four or ace to three that would be a good fit what you don't want is a holding like king jack xx because now opposite a shortage that's pretty much destroying their hand because you're not going to get full value out of king jack xx or king queen xx opposite a singleton Okay, so long suit game tries or long suit trial bids are the most common method. Um, that's what most people use uh, if they're using proper trial bids. So a trial bid is normally in at least a three card or longer suit. And what you want is some honor strength or a shortage from partner. They're looking for some help in that suit. What you don't necessarily want is something like jack to four. So classic precision uses a completely almost opposite method where you actually show a shortage as a trial bid. And now you're looking for partner not to have um, uh, any wasted values in that suit. Um, an ace is okay, but you don't want King Jack X because, uh, again, if you've got a shortage there, their King Jack X is, is not going to be pulling its weight. So there are times when short suit trial bids are very useful, um, but by and large, if you have a choice, you should probably prefer to make a long suit trial bid because it tends to give less information away to your opponents. Okay, so the problem most systems face is that you have to decide with your partner before you even start playing whether you're going to play long suit trial bids or short suit trial bids because uh, you're using essentially the same bids for both methods. So you can't, you can't normally play both methods at the same time. And the secret of Romex and why it's so good is that Romex does allow you to play and switch freely between long suit trial bids and short suit trial bids depending on what your hand is um, and it gives you a method to do exactly that okay any questions on on trial bids generally before we start getting into the nitty-gritty of, uh, of Romex Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's more likely to be ace king. Sorry, it's more likely to be something like three small or three to an honor, uh, Sanya. But I mean, if the bidding starts off, for example, uh, one spade, 
one no trump, two hearts, two spades. Three hearts is now probably a five card suit. So it's still a trial bid and you're still wanting partner to have either a shortage or um, some on a helping heart. But, you know, you're not going to have three small. You're not likely to have four small even for this. It's more likely to be five to at least one honour. Bearing in mind that partner's probably got ten cards between the two majors. Um, they make a decision to pace depending on whether they minimum or maximum. Again, it depends on the sequence, Sanya. If it's gone one spade, one no trump, two hearts, two spades, three hearts, now Queen X is quite helpful. So if I was mid-range, I would probably be bidding four spades. Okay? But if it's gone... Um, one spade, one no trump, two hearts, two spades, three diamonds, and I had queen X. Now I would be less inclined to bid four if I was mid-range. Does that help you? Okay, I, Sanya. I mean, this is this is really nothing to do with um, precision or Romex. This is just to do with standard trial bids. Um, you know, I mean, what you're asking here um, is just natural bidding. You know, I I mean, I can't I can't explain absolutely everything to do with you know how you value your hand um, you've got to think about what partner probably has in the suit well okay um, you need to get out more like I said if, if the bidding if the bidding starts one spade one no trump two hearts two spades three diamonds that's a that's a, a long suit game trying diamonds. Your chances of finding opener with a five four four nothing shape hand is pretty small. It's not impossible, but it's fairly small. They're much more likely to have something like Queen XX in diamonds than Ace Jack to four. Okay. Righty ho. Let's start on Romex. So, the reason why I, I said earlier that probably you should prefer to make long suit trial bids rather than short suit trial bids. Um, there are times when only a short suit trial bid will do. But the reason why I said that is that um, short suit trial bids uh, and mini splinters to a certain extent tend to be more helpful to the defence um, because it, it makes it much easier for them to get a fairly exact count on the hand than a long suit trial bid, which can be um, quite a few different kinds of hands, whereas a short suit trial bid is always a singleton or, or a void. You'd never do it with two or three. Um, so they know that you've got a shortage there, and if you're declarer, it makes it much easier for them to count the hand. So um, there are times when, when a short suit trial bid is absolutely what you need to, to give. But uh, the reason why Romex is so good is that 
you only actually get to make the short suit trial bid and to show where your shortage is when it really matters to partner not when it really matters to you but when it really matters to your partner and that's good because it means you're only giving the information to your opponents when it's crucially important to you and your partner as to um, where your shortage is. So if that seems impossible, uh, I'll leave you in suspense, but uh, we will come back to that in a minute. We're going to look at long suit trial bids first. So take a sequence of one spade, two spades, three diamonds. That's just a long suit game try just like it would be in any other system. Similarly, one heart, two hearts, three clubs. Or one diamond, one heart, one spade, two spades, three hearts. Long suit trial bit. Okay, so the thing about Romex is that we need the extra space <coughs> um, for short suit trial bids when we've agreed hearts. So uh, over a, a two level heart agreement, two no trumps is the long suit trial bid in spades and two spades is something else which we'll come to in a minute. So that's the that's the non-intuitive thing that you have to remember. OK, so having the two no Trump bid devoted to spades and two spades or something else is something that you'll remember from when we were playing fit showing jump shifts where one heart two no trumps is a fit showing jump shift in spades and one heart two spades is the request to show a mini splinter um, so it's very very similar so if you were here last week um, you should have no difficulty in wrapping your head around uh, what I'm going to show you in a minute um, so has anybody got any questions on long suit trial bids before we move on to the short suit ones? Okay. Uh, it's not that's very long long spades, but it's a it's a long suit trial bid. In other words, you've got at least three card spades. You certainly wouldn't be five card spades because almost certainly you'd have opened one spade in the first place unless you were six five with longer hearts. 
Okay, Walid. Um, when I say long suit trial bid, I'm talking at least a three card suit. You're not guaranteeing any more than that. Okay. Okay, so the idea about this, and this goes to, to only actually getting to make the short suit trial bid when it really matters to partner, is that you ask permission to make a short suit trial bid by bidding one heart, two hearts, two spades, or one spade, two spades, two no trumps. And if they have absolutely no interest in game, they're not going to let you sh make your short suit trial bid. They're just going to sign off in three of the agreed major. Similarly, if they want to play in game, if you've got the whiff of an invitation, they're just going to bid game of your major. Okay, no problem, Walid. Um, so it's, it's only when it really matters to them that they're going to say, okay, where is your shortage? Just bear with me a second guys, I just need to do something. Because it's it's a request to make a short suit trial bid, it's not showing spades. That's the whole point. If you're playing position, if you've got, I, I, I mean, I'm not saying you wouldn't reverse, but you're not, you're not going to reverse when partners agreed your first suit at the two level. You're in a totally different situation now. If it goes one heart, two clubs, two spades, you haven't had a two level agreement of heart. So you're in a completely different situation. But if it goes, if you're not playing Romex, this is, if it goes one heart, two hearts, two spades. Right, but you'd have opened one spade if you had that, Eliana. You wouldn't open one heart. All right, when partners agreed your opening suit at the two level, it's gone one heart, two hearts. You don't start reversing here. You're going to play in hearts. You've no need to. You've no need to. Um, to reverse to show extra strength. You're going to bid game or you're going to invite game. If you've got a strong hand, whatever system you're playing. So if partner hasn't agreed your suit, now you might reverse to show your your distribution and to show your your extra strength. Right, okay, if you've got f five hearts and four spades, yes, and 
you open one heart and partner bids two hearts okay if you bid I mean playing Romex if you bid two no trumps now which is a long suit game try for hearts yes you might have four card spades but you shirt and you're certainly showing three card or longer spades but you don't have to have four let alone five because you're not trying to play in spades you've your partners already agreed to play in hearts what you're trying to do is to to see whether you and partner have the right sort of hand to play in four hearts rather than three hearts that's the whole point so trial bids only only arise when partners agreed your your opening major at the two level that's you know if we're not in that situation then none of what I'm saying tonight applies because you're in a completely different bidding situation okay Ali I don't want to spend too much time on this because it's not again this this just comes this is just standard natural bidding it's nothing to do with Romex okay so if partner wants to find out where your shortage is they simply relay in the next bid up so after one heart two hearts two spades which is the Romex bid they just bid to no trumps and that says okay where is your shortage and similarly over one spade two spades two no trumps which is the Romex bid three clubs says okay where is your shortage so now they're effectively saying I'm mid-range and actually it does matter to me where your shortage is depending on where it is I may bid three or four of the major Oops, hang on. I've, I think I've missed out. Oh no, I haven't. Okay. Okay, so in OCP we do something slightly different to most systems in that when we're showing a shortage, we tend to bid the suit below the shortage and when it comes to trial bids we only do that for consistency with the rest of the system there's no really inherent advantage to us in showing the suit the suit below it does just make it easier to understand the whole system because we tend to do it everywhere um, if you're not playing OCP if you're playing standard American or two over one or ACOL and you want to start using Romex then you just bid the suit itself to show your shortage um, you're still going to have to potentially make some adjustments when the shortage is in a minor so if you look there um, over a two level heart agreement when it's gone one heart two hearts two spades asking to make a short suit trial bid two no trumps okay go on if you weren't playing the suit below method three clubs would show a club shortage three diamonds would show a diamond shortage and three hearts would show a spade shortage and similarly over a two level spade agreement if we've asked to make a short suit trial bid and partner said okay go on with three clubs now three diamonds would show a diamond shortage three hearts would show a heart shortage and three spades would show a club shortage so you still have to make some adjustments um, but in OCP we tend to bid the suit below always um, and it's it's this sort of suit wheel 
that goes around and around uh, ignoring the agreed Trump suit and no Trumps. Um, so with OCP over heart agreement, three clubs would show a diamond shortage, three diamonds would show a spade shortage because that's the next suit up over diamonds ignoring hearts and three hearts would show a club shortage because that's the next suit up over spades all right my love good night that's Naomi off to bed say good night everybody okay um <laughs> good night Ooh. Ah, uh, she's gone. Or spades, potentially, um, as I've just explained. Okay, any questions initially on how the short suit trial bids work with Romex? Hopefully now you can see uh, why I've made the claim that it's it's really good. It allows you to either make a short suit trial bid or a long suit trial bid depending on how your hand is. You're not tied to using one method because there are some times when um, actually there's no long suit trial bid that's really useful to you um, and actually it's much better to show where you don't want any help from partner by making a short suit trial bid and uh, if you've only got long suit trial bids in your arsenal, then that's a little bit more difficult. Um, that's the beauty of Romex, is that you can, you can please yourself. Just bear with me a second. Naomi, do you want me to shut your door for now? Okay, let's uh, just show you a few examples. Right, the fact is, Sanya, any time, any time that you make some kind of an invitation, you're effectively giving your partner the captaincy of the hand. And it doesn't matter whether it's a trial bid, a mini splinter, a fit showing jump shift, um, a five level bid, a five level bid in a major, a jump to a five level bid, which is invitational to six. Any time that you do that, you're giving your partner the captaincy of the hand. Okay, any kind of an invitation does that. Okay, some invitations are forcing in the sense that they can't pass the bid that you make. So if you make a trial bid in a side suit, then partner can't pass that but you're still giving them the captaincy of the hand because you're allowing them to decide whether to play in game or not. That's the whole point about making an invitation. So um, it's not a matter of whether it's opener or whether it's responder. Um, after uh, mini splinters and fit showing jump shifts, it's always responder who's making those and so it's always opener who's going to be the captain. Um, trial bids can be either. You know, it might go one spade, two spades, three hearts. Hang on a second. Uh, 
yeah okay in a minute Ellie let me just finish answering the previous question please um, uh, so with trial bids it can be either player who's making the trial bid if it goes one spade two spades three diamonds now it's opener making the invitation but it might go one diamond one heart two hearts three clubs and now it's responder who's issuing the invitation so don't get hooked up on opener and responder um, it can be either it depends whose suit it's always the person who's first bid the suit who's ending up making the invitation okay right Ellie um, okay Ellie to your question a short suit trial bid is showing a shortage a long suit trial bid might be three small it might be five a five card suit potentially that's okay um, a long suit trial bid could be anything from three cards upwards it doesn't have to be three small it might be you might even make a trial bid with ace to three or king to three or king jack x doesn't have to be three small the point is a you're showing more about the distribution of your hand to partner um, but you're not guaranteeing any particular length in the long suit trial bid whereas a short suit trial bid is almost all it, it is always going to be either a singleton or a void okay does that help you okay let's look at this hand Okay, I, you wouldn't necessarily bid the west hand like this. I'd probably be bidding three spades over one spade here. But uh, this is just to show you the mechanism. So here, East has got a nice 15 count they want to issue an invitation to West now they could do either here they could either bid three diamonds which is a long suit game try and this is implying a club shortage because they must have five spades and at least four hearts given the two heart bid so if they've got three diamonds they can only possibly have at most one club it might even be voiding clubs here or so so this is emphasizing the fact that they want some help in diamonds whereas the other thing they could do here so here um, West is mid-range but they've got a nice singleton in hearts and they've got some required help in diamonds so the other thing that could happen here So this is the ro this is the Romex bid that says can I make a short suit game try um, and yes here it does make a difference to West as to where the suit is obviously 
we know that East can't have a shortage in heart, so it must be in one of the miners. And we're, you know, if partner's got a diamond shortage, that pretty much wrecks our hand because we haven't really got that much to shout about in, um, in clubs. Whereas a club shortage is much more useful because we've potentially got quite a few losers in clubs. So here, if you're playing the suit below method, three diamonds is the bid that um, East is obviously never going to make because they can't have a heart shortage because they bid two hearts. But so three diamonds would in theory show a heart shortage. Three hearts would show a club shortage is what they're actually going to bid. And and three spades would show a diamond shortage. If you weren't playing the suit below method, if you're if you're not playing OCP, then over three clubs, three diamonds would show a diamond shortage, three hearts would show a heart shortage, and three spades would show the club shortage. Um, because you can't afford to go past the three level of your agreed major. You absolutely can't. It, it would be senseless to say that you have to bid four clubs if you've got a club shortage. Because now you're forcing the bidding to game anyway. No, okay, I, Roger, I did say that this isn't, I would be bidding, I would be bidding three spades with this West Hand, but I can't show you a trial bid if, if he does that. It's like I said, I'm not saying that this is necessarily how West would bid the hand. Um... I'm just I'm just uh, I'm just showing the mechanism here. Okay, let's look at another one. <coughs> Now again here South has a choice they can either make um, they've shown two suits already they can either make a long suit trial bid in diamonds or a short suit trial bid or ask to make a short suit trial bid in hearts and again I'll show you both methods um, Okay, so here South has made a long suit game try in diamonds. And and North really doesn't, on that basis, have the right cards. Um, if you're playing OCP, they're pretty much lower range for...
for their or, or lower or mid range for their two spade rebid um, and queen to four is not necessarily what south is looking for here you know if south's got stronger spades and only say jack to three in um, diamonds the chances of you making four spades is quite small and you may think this is odd and it comes down to uh, choosing the right game try to make um, because Because if he uses Romex and says, can I make a short suit game try? Um, again, North is sort of mid-range-ish for their two spade bid. Um, and it absolutely does matter where South shortage is. If he has a heart shortage, he's well happy North. Um, and it's, it's possible that even opposite a long suit game try in diamonds, the information that South is probably short in hearts, uh, it doesn't actually have to be short in hearts, but he's probably short in hearts, um, might push North into bidding four spades, even over three diamonds. Because although he hasn't got the required necessarily the required help in diamonds he does definitely have no wasted values in hearts if south has a, has a shortage there um so over over two no trumps in this sequence um So at this stage now, um, North doesn't know what partner's diamonds are because partner hasn't emphasized the diamonds. He's emphasized the fact that he absolutely doesn't want a lot of help in hearts. In other words, North's heart holding in heart is absolutely perfect opposite a shortage because now we're playing with the 30 point deck. Um, and so all of North's points are working overtime. Okay, so um, it, it does make a difference as to where you trial bid and how you trial bid um, and and to some extent there's a little bit of luck involved here that there will be times when uh, it's actually um, going to turn out better to make the short suit trial bid even though your first instinct would be to make the long suit trial bid in a different suit um, and it, it just depends on, on what partner's hand is. You can't always be sure of getting it right. Here you might think um, that it's better to make the long suit game try in diamonds. And actually it turns out that making the short suit game try in hearts is actually the key to getting to the game. Okay, any questions on those two? hands. I think I've got one more to show you.
Okay, so here, South asked to make a short suit trial bid. They've got a nice 15 count. Um, yes, probably. If 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 South shows a short suit, uh, a heart shortage. Um, if North had king to three hearts that's wrecked their hands because king to three opposite a shortage is worth pretty much nothing you may not even make a single trick um but you it the point is it's that's a significant fraction of north's north's high card points is that king of hearts and essentially it's not pulling its weight that's the thing um so you know, if partner's got a shortage, ideally you want absolutely nothing in that suit. As I've said before, um, an ace is okay because an ace is always going to pull its weight um, unless it's opposite a void. Uh, but, you know, king xx opposite, opposite a shortage is worth, is pretty much worthless. Um, it's certainly not pulling its full weight. Okay, Walid. So here, um, South has asked to make a short suit trial bid, and North he's got a flat um, seven count. Um, so he's right at the bottom of the range where OCP would normally bid two spades. Um, uh, they've got no shape and the likelihood is is that south is going to show a sh diamond a shortage in diamonds they certainly won't have a shortage in hearts because they bid two hearts and a shortage in clubs is even if even if south has it is not actually going to be very useful because it's only going to be uh one roughing trick um, albeit that it means that South's more likely to have some help in diamonds but they're not it means that the, the hands aren't really fitting very well um, but like I said with a with a seven count um, North is just going to decline it doesn't really matter almost for certain South shortage is going to be in diamonds um, and that doesn't improve North's hand at all. So they're just going to bid three spades over two no trumps and say, no, you can't show where your shortage is because I'm not interested in game. And also, critically, with the North hand, it's their heart holding that's really detracting from the hand. They've got three small opposite South second suit so they got no help there that's the critical thing if you give north the king of hearts rather than the king of diamonds now they might bid three clubs over two no trumps because a diamond shortage would probably be quite useful in terms of roughing lots of diamonds in the south hand okay any questions before we move on Okay, we next, and we, I touched on this before, um, but I need to, to really nail this down because it's very important when it comes to trial bids. And essentially, this applies any time you're making any kind of an invitation. You know, if you open the bidding with one no trump, and you're not playing four suit transfers, and partner bids two no trumps, saying, do you want to play in three or not? Even though one no trump essentially gives the captaincy of the hand 
100% to responder. If responder bids two no trumps, they hand it straight back to opener. So if you make an invitation, you're always giving partner the captaincy of the hand. Okay, so in that sequence there, it's gone one heart, one spade, two spades. Three diamonds, which is an invitation in spades. An opener bids three spades, saying, you know, they've got a rock bottom minimum, not interested in game. If responder now says, oh, well, I don't care what you say, I'm going to bid four spades anyway. Then, then you're grabbing the captaincy of the hand back when it's not yours um, we'll come back to that sort of a sequence in a minute um, but but if responder there only has an invitational hand then that's utterly wrong that that sort of bidding destroys partnerships um, uh, quicker than anything else if you're not interested in the answer to the question don't ask the question if a responder was going to bid four spades anyway they should just bid four spades over two spades they shouldn't ask the question if they if they're not going to pay any attention to the answer Okay, so there is one instance, there's one situation where it is permissible to do what I've just said. And it's when the trial bid isn't really a trial bid for game. It's actually a trial bid for slam in the guise of a game try. So you've got ace-king to six spades, singleton heart, ace-king to five diamonds, singleton club. Partner opens one heart, you bid one spade, partner bids two spades. Um, you showing a heart shortage is not likely to uh, set partner alight. It's not likely to be much use to them. If you bid four hearts, showing a club shortage, this is if you're playing the suit below method, um, that might be misunderstood for a delayed game raise, and that probably wouldn't be a very good idea, because partner's likely to pass four hearts. So what's, what should you do to find out how good partner is for their two spade bid? And the answer is to bid three diamonds, which is a ostensibly a long suit game try in diamonds now you're going to find out if partners minimum or maximum and if they're mid-range you're going to find out what sort of a holding they've got in diamonds and that's perfect um, so if you bid three diamonds as a slam try and partner bids three spades okay you're just going to sign off in four spades but if they bid four spades over three diamonds, now you would probably push on and start using Q bids or Roman key card or whatever. Um, because you know that partners either got some help on a help in diamonds like the queen or they've got a diamond shortage. Or their maximum, in which case they've almost certainly got at least one of the two missing aces. OK, so that's the one time when it's permissible to ask the question 
and then ignore the answer and bid game anyway if partner declines the invitation to game. And once they see your hand, it'll be utterly obvious. So that's not going to destroy any confidence between you and your partner. Um, and that's the one time when it is permissible. Okay, if you're playing OCP, it's almost certainly going to be, this kind of a situation is almost certainly going to be where responder's suit is the one that's opener is agreed, and it's responder issuing the invitation. Um, by that I mean where, where um, responder is making a slam try in the guise of a, a game try. Um, if you're playing OCP, it's almost invariably going to be that's going to be the case because their hand is completely unlimited, whereas Opener's is not. So if you're playing two over one um, or standard American where Opener could be as strong as a 20 count, then uh, they are potentially going to be able to make this kind of a a, a game try that they then ignore the answer and bid game anyway but if you're playing precision or OCP where opener's hands limited it's much more likely to be responder's suit that's been agreed and responder that's issuing the invitation and then ignoring the answer okay so um, I mentioned four no trumps, you know, being an invitation to Qubit. Obviously, if you're not playing OCP, then four no trumps is probably going to be ace asking. Um, but OCP never uses that. Okay, any questions on Romex trial bids before we start uh, doing some practice hands? Um, every every hand is different, uh, Douglas. To be honest, um, you know, if you if you were very near a maximum for your two level bid, then you might treat even Queen Jack X as as better than nothing um, ideally ideally I think I think you probably want an ace or a king or a shortage I wouldn't normally but if I was really close to to bidding for anyway I would probably push that way on the basis of say Queen Jack X in that it's better than nothing um, but you know every hand is different and I, you can't reduce it to to a particular set of rules um, you just have to judge each hand on its own merits so I mentioned sometimes you could do either and if you've got a hand like that where you've got six controls in the form of three bullets and a singleton in the fourth suit, that's the sort of time when I would almost certainly make a short suit trial bid rather than... Um, 
John, everybody else can hear me. Right, but the point is, it's control of the suit, Sanya. You, you haven't got two quick losers in that suit, which gives you time, potentially, to develop another suit or to, um, to discard something. That's the point. Um, there's no perfect answer. And, and even here, it may well be that actually making a long suit game try in clubs is actually the key because partner's got a shortage there. Like I said, there's a certain amount of luck involved in, in your choice of game tries. Um, and you won't necessarily get it right every time. I showed you a hand before where if you make a long suit game try in diamonds, um, you may well, if partner's not fully on the ball, you may well get um, them declining the invitation Whereas if you made a short suit game try in hearts, they would almost certainly accept the invitation. And and there's no, you know, I can't give you 100% guidelines that's going to work every time. Um, there is, so there is a certain amount of luck in what you choose. Oh, right. Sorry, John. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, I thought you were uh, effectively talking to me. Okay, can I have four victims, please? Um, doesn't have to be the usual suspect. Anybody at all who's followed the lesson, please feel free to sit. Uh, and you don't even have to know OCP because all of these hands are probably going to be uh, the sort of hands where it won't make any difference what system you're playing. Okay, just bear with me a minute. Okay, we've got about an hour, so we should get through quite a few of these hands, hopefully. Come on, Joe. You'll be all right. Um, whatever you would normally do, Joe, don't open this hand. Well, you were not passing. And the the other thing, the other thing, the other reason I said that, Joe, is that OCP would open that hand like a shot. We'd open it one no trump. <laughs> okay. I know. I want to. Well, hurry up and pass because it reduces. Oh, definitely. Um, if it's absolutely clear to interfere, yes, um, but not here. Yeah, you know, if you've got something like King Queen Jack to eight in a side suit, then then feel free to uh, interfere, but not otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> 
but there aren't many hands like that I don't think okay so here we've got two level suit agreement of spades North's two spades is effectively like a limit bid yeah I will sorry it's all right I'll do it okay so so this two spades is probably eight to ten with three card spades but conceivable it's only two card spade support so two no trumps is asking to make a short suit trial bid three club says yes and now we get to this wheel so here three diamonds would show a heart shortage which is impossible three hearts will show a club shortage and three spades would have shown a, a diamond shortage so this is effectively a short suit game trying clubs agreeing spades. Okay, Sanya, lead away, please, and just claim 10 tricks. Very good. So this is, this is exactly, um, you know, this is a really good game to get to based on fit. Uh, and you'll notice that even if Roger had decided to make a long suit game try and diamonds here it probably would have had the same result because demonstrably over one spade two spades three diamonds north has got some decent help in diamonds because the implication then is still that uh, South has a shortage in clubs having bid two suits already and then shown a fragment in the third suit they're almost certainly going to be short in the fourth suit um, so North can tell that all of their high card points are working overtime here um, even though they haven't got much help in hearts any questions or comments Um, yes. Yes. No, no, no. If 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 you bid two clubs. Oh, sorry. Uh, bid two clubs. Um, okay. If you bid two clubs, Joe. Um, Roger would probably still bid two hearts and North would still bid two spades but now South might well just bid four spades on the basis of their club shortage they might not even bother with a um, a trial bid they might just bid game but theoretically they could now still bid three diamonds as a game try and they could still bid two no trumps as a request to make a short suit game try. So no, they aren't off. It does depend on the situation. The, the critical thing really is, has there been any interference? This is for OCP. The critical question is, has there been interference over the two-level suit agreement? 
it's not interference on the way to the two double suit agreement that makes a difference so if you bid three clubs over two spades now trial bids are off because clearly we don't have it's all right uh, son yes no problem do you see the points i'm making joe um you know, even if you double over two spades, um, now potentially we have got uh, the room to make all the Romex trial bids. But for OCP, that that double does make a difference because now we would switch to playing Levensol rather than the trial bids. Uh, but if you if you're not playing Levensol in competitive sequences. Um, then normally any interference after the two-level suit agreement will turn Romex off. You could still make long suit game tries, but um, the Romex bid is gone. Okay. Earth calling Roger. Okay, so here, two spades was a request to make a short suit trial bid. Two no Trump says, go ahead. No, nah, don't worry about it, Roger. <laughs> okay, so here, three clubs would show a diamond shortage which is obviously impossible three diamonds will show a spade shortage and three hearts would show a club shortage if you were going to play showing the suit itself then obviously three clubs would show a club shortage three diamonds would be impossible and three hearts would show the spade shortage
Okay, so here the invitation has been declined. Can we have a lead, Roger? Um, just claim nine tricks, guys. Even though you're actually probably going to make ten. Well, it's interesting here. Um, uh, there's some good points actually on on this. Um, you know, I've said there's there's not really um, even a spade shortage is is not ideal, but it's at least West would have no wasted values. But the point is, they've got no help in diamonds and no real help in clubs and they've got a bare minimum seven count so up to two spades um sorry up to two hearts rather the bidding is perfect the first point i was going to make though is actually on east's choice of trial bid um i think I would normally make a long suit trial bid in clubs with this hand. I think it's probably more important to identify that that's the suit where you do want some help than it is to show that spades is the suit where you don't. I think I would more likely bid three clubs over two hearts with the east hand rather than two spades um again it's a matter of style it's a matter of your agreements with partner and your partnership style but certainly over two spades i would be bidding three hearts with the west hand i think you should be declining anything bearing in mind that if you're playing ocp sanya East is limited to 15 points. Um, you know, you've got a seven count. You've got no shape, really, apart from a doubleton. Um, the chances of, of you guys having 10 tricks is remote. You do, as it happens. Um, but only because the... Uh, the fit actually in the majors is perfect and the hearts are 2-2 two, two. and the queen of diamonds is on side and the diamonds are 3-3 three, three. you know that won't always be the case so yes you can make 10 tricks but this is but but this is it, it is a perfect storm but um You know, not every hand on which you can make 10 tricks should be in four. And this is one of them. Okay. Oh, certainly, Douglas, I quite agree. With five card diamonds, yes. Definitely. I, I mean, the East Hand was worth a game try. It's a matter of which game try. Ah, oh, right, sorry, okay. Oh, yeah, certainly. Because now they've got some shape. You know, they've got... I mean, they've almost got a hand worth a mini splinter in hearts. Okay, so despite the interference... Um,
Okay, now this is interesting. Just just don't bid anything yet, Joe. Um, Joe, you please yourself. Um, have a have an eye to the vulnerability. But what I was going to say is is this is an interesting sequence in terms of what North's double means. Because you could easily play this as a sort of stolen bid double, saying, actually, I was going to... Um, I was going to make a long suit trial bid in spades. Or this could be saying, I actually wanted to make a short suit trial bid somewhere, but I couldn't bid two spades. Um, so this is this is a situation where you can discuss uh, what this double means by north, <coughs> because ostensibly trial bids, the short suit trial bids are now off, unless you're going to make a you could make a long suit trial bid in a minor. But you can't really make a short suit trial bid in spades um, because certainly once West bids two spades, the, the two spade, two no trump switch is off. But I think North almost certainly wants to make Yeah, but I can't, okay, we can't necessarily guarantee that North South are playing competitive leb at this stage in the course, though, John. Um, but yes, no, carry on, Joe. Yeah. It wouldn't be a cubid, May. You see, I don't think this North, this double by North should be penalties. Whatever else it means, I don't think. Because clearly, because then bid three spades now if you want, Joe. It doesn't. It's not going to affect anything. In fact, it makes it easier for North South if you do. No, I think each each partnership have. You see, North sorry East double over over one heart is clearly showing the black suits, and clearly. West has got spades. So East West absolutely for certain have got it. But you don't need to Douglas. Because um, it should be utterly clear to North that South has got a spade shortage exactly where you want it and south having that spade shortage is just going to bid game anyway well south's already bid it but yes i mean i would be i would be bidding four hearts over two spades here if only if only um, because at least you've got your hand off your chest. You can't be sure whose hand it is, but you can be fa fairly certain that you can make game in hearts. Um, I disagree.
I disagree, Sanya, to be honest. Um, again, it's, it's fairly obvious that, that the high card points are relatively close. But almost for certain, somebody here has got a, heart, a spade shortage, which means the spades are not splitting well for you. You don't know that four hearts is making. I mean, it is making, but you don't know that. Um, and at the end of the day, West has got a flat nine count. Um, I certainly, at, at red versus green, I'm not sure I would be. Yes, absolutely. If it was, if it was green, if it was green, if it was green versus red, for East West then I would be bidding four spades, yes. But not at this vulnerability. I mean, it depends on the lead, but... Um, you know, the fact is, four spades is almost certainly going two off doubled. And that's worth more to north south than making four hearts if north leads a club um, you can draw one of their trumps but now they can uh, get to the south hand in both red suits to get two spade roughs so that's one two three four five five tricks you're going to lose in four spades doubled Okay, did we have a claim here? We have. Okay. So I mean I think I think I think this is a this is a reasonable sequence as it went. Um I I think I would have bid four hearts rather than doubling because once East doubles one heart, you know they've got four spades at least. And clearly West has got almost certainly four spades so when north has ace to four you can be certain that south's got a singleton so i mean i would just be bidding if south's got a singleton spade and and four hearts to the ace um or even four hearts to the queen and an ace somewhere else um you're going to make 10 tricks in hearts on a 10 card fit. Anybody else got any questions or comments? <laughs> uh, I love it. Okay. 
Oh, what a let off. I think South should be doubling three spades like a shot. No, it's all right, Douglas. It's South's problem. Okay. Um, well, I think three spades should be doubled on the basis that um, Roger has underbid his hand by bidding two hearts initially. Uh, I'd be bidding one no trump. I don't know what Joe's double was. Um, uh, and clearly... Um, <laughs> Come on, Joe, concentrate. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what the double was. That was one of my questions I was going to ask him. Um, but uh, South has underbid their hand by bidding an immediate two hearts, which is preemptive rather than any kind of a limit bid. So I would bid one no trump with the south hand and then bid two hearts, which is a... Can we just leave off this chat, guys? Sorry. Um, uh, so if if north has got a hand worth an invitation opposite a preemptive two heart bid, then they must be absolutely maximum. Um, so just on general principles I don't think South can afford not to double three spades here and in practice um, North South are going to take uh, the first one two three four five so I'm going to take the first five tricks against three spades and they might still make the uh, um, the king of spades if uh... no but it's the point is you've got a solid balanced limit raised to two hearts Roger that's the point um, yes you don't have much in the way of shape but you do have a solid balanced limit bid. It's not a preemptive. Two hearts is a preemptive raise. That suggests that you do have shape and but don't necessarily have a hand as strong as an eight count. You know, take away um I don't know, take away the ace of heart of clubs and give yourself a singleton diamond and now you might bid two hearts as a preemptive raise um, you know when you have that kind of a balanced eight to ten count with three card support that's the sort of time to bid one no trump playing OCP that's the sort of time to bid one no trump and then support hearts at the two level because now it's a straight limit bid so you are sort of showing 8 plus rather than a preemptive hand that might be no more than a 4 or 5 count with some shape okay do you take the point okay so 3 spades probably going to go 1 or 2 off um, 3 spades doubled would have been much nicer 500 is much good. 500 good, good potential. But even without all this interference, um, no, you wouldn't get 800. Uh, no, North would issue a, a North would definitely, if North can make a 
um, a trial bid of three diamonds after a, uh, a preemptive two heart raise, they must be absolutely maximum, which they are. And, you know, potentially even have more shape than they do. Um, they're more likely to make the trial bid after a slow two heart bid with a forcing one no trump response because that's at least showing sort of eight to ten because that's a limit bid okay um, right so Oh, if it goes one one heart, one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts. Um, yes, probably. Three diamonds being the trial bid. Now, it, it does imply that they might have five diamonds. Um, but they don't have to. And three diamonds is definitely a trial bid for hearts rather than trying to convince partners of playing diamonds. And now South should decline the invitation because they are sort of mid-range, but they don't have any help in diamonds. So North-South will still end up in three hearts. The intervention by East West gave him a chance for more than 140, though. All right, guys, time for one more. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Oh, yes, this will make the point. Um, sorry, Roger, just undo that and pass, would you? Sorry, I think West was supposed to be the dealer here. Yes, I know you would open that normally, but... Um, Okay, so for those of you who were kibitzing, um, this is a two heart raise, a preemptive two heart raise in in OCP. Um, um, no, essentially, Joe, you don't. Uh, you know, we're not we're not. Not with a f an, a controlless five count, anyway. Uh, no, I just said don't open the hand, Roger. I haven't said anything else. But you don't have any more options other than... Um, yeah, we're not playing Bergen or anything like that. <laughs> Joe, don't forget. The West Hand is limited to a maximum of f 15 high card points. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, yes, you could be a little stronger for your two hearts. You could be a little bit stronger than that. Well, the thing is, is that, is that, as you can see, okay, just uh, claim nine tricks. Okay, the east hand here, um, is a perfect preemptive two heart raise. Okay, it's not a limit bid. I appreciate that even if you were playing two over one, you might bid two hearts on this hand over one heart, but it conveys a different message. Two hearts here is is 100% preemptive rather than being a limit bid. The fact that somebody playing two over one or standard American or even Ackle might make a limit bid on that hand is not the point. The message is is subtly different because East here knows that they can't conceive even if West is maximum you can't possibly have game on or it's incredibly unlikely um, but the fact is with four card support and a, a shortage in clubs even if even if west is minimum you're probably making two hearts so it's worth the preemptive raise to try and stop north south from getting into the bidding whereas if he's well they're not going to pass with four card heart support um but do you see the point guys that that the message of one heart two hearts is different i was going to come to that in a minute roger yeah Okay, guys, it's a, it's 12 o'clock. Um, I'm going to sign off. Yes, don't forget the bidding practices uh, tomorrow at 5 o'clock New York time and Thursday at 4 o'clock New York time. That's 9 p.m. and 8 p.m. UTC on each day. Um, do go along to those because they're all targeted hands on exactly what we've been discussing today. Uh, do use Romex. You don't have to be using Precision to use Romex. Uh, and it really is better than uh, pretty much any other kind of trial bids because it allows you to choose whether to use long or short. Yes, John's doing a practice tomorrow. All right, guys, night-night, and uh, uh, definitely, Romex, Romex beats everything else into a cocked hat for my money. Um, they are similar, but, but I don't think they're identical. Um, All right, guys, I'm going to say good night and uh, it is. All right, guys, night all. Bye for now.